Welcome to another video on component testing. Today we are testing a common component in amplifier world, the TDA2030. I come across many circuits, which needed replacement of this common IC, but I had no knowledge on how to test which one exactly had developed a fault, so I used to replace all TDA2030 in a circuit. This method worked for me but, it was not economic. Hence, today I come to you with this video, to show you how to test these components. Many people might ask why I picked TDA2030, and not any other component. The answer is simple, TDA2030 is one of a busy component, if I am so to say. The TDA2030 is a powerful audio amplifier IC. This IC can deliver up to 20 watts of output power. This component can be used for audio signal amplification. Suitable for high power amplification. Capable of operating on dual or split power supply. Can be used to cascade audio speakers. Now let me show how to do it. To perform this experiment, I need a multimeter and TDA2030 IC. This row comprises of working components. This row comprises of components, that are not working. Configure your meter to diode test. Put the positive lead on this metal part of TDA2030. Touch pin 1 up to pin 5 with a negative lead. For a component in a working condition we must get a voltage drop of 0.5 to 0.9 volts. For all pins except for pin 3 which must read a short. For this multimeter I am using we must get a reading between 500 to 900. Anything else the component is in a bad condition. Thank you for watching, I also recommend you, to watch my other video, on how to test a MOSFET.